Rub a dub dub code bros, it's Ed, and we're back into it looking at some more Python learning. And this is a topic for today's video that we've danced around pretty thoroughly throughout the last 10 episodes, and that is functions. It's something you can't really dodge, uh, but we haven't covered it yet, and we're going to do that today. So let's take a look at some of the built in functions that are always available to you in the Python interpreter. We've used them repeatedly. I just want to give you a little bit of understanding about how they work. So let's put some men in this tub. All right, what are functions? The answer to that is going to get technical too fast and we'll be swimming around a little bit too much in other pieces of jargon I'd have to fill in. So instead of trying to give you an airtight definition, let's start by just looking at a couple of functions we've used already and build an understanding that way. So one function we've run into many times throughout the last 10 videos is this print function. What that does is it takes the inputs you give it and prints them out to the command line. It's just fine, nothing too complicated there. We're very familiar with that. And functions are going to give us different output based on the input we give them. So let's assign men and tub to a list of strings, butcher baker and candlestick maker. And now if we print men and tub here, just the object, we're going to get butcher baker, candlestick maker, prints it out as a list. You'll notice uh, that it, this particular function is able to handle input in the form of a string or input in the form of a list. And it's not going to surprise us, you know, if we give it an integer or if we give it a float that you get similar results. It spits it out to the command line. So takes an input, gives that output in a predictable fashion, depending on what the input looks like, your output is going to change. Not too wild. The vast majority of functions you're going to see us employ from here on out will have an important syntactic difference from print in that they use parentheses to capture their objects. So um, the function len for length we're familiar with, but unlike print, instead of putting a space between that function and its argument or the, or the thing you're going to use it on, you'll put parentheses on it. So the length of men and tub is going to give us three, the three things we have there. Let's look at the length of the third position in men and tub, or position two. That'll be 17, which is telling us there are 17 characters in candlestick maker. So those two things, print and len, are going to be generally available to you. They're things the interpreter just plain knows how to do. Let's look at one more function that's always there for you, and that is the help function. Help is a good way to get an understanding of what you're up to and what you're up against. And let's take a look at what it does when we run it on that function len. So help len here. All right. Gives us a little bit of output. This is the built-in help feature of Python. And it tells us that length is a built-in function. And it's in this module built in. We're going to learn about modules here shortly. Really cool. One of the more exciting parts of Python, in my opinion, man. And length, it's going to say we pass it something here. And whatever object we pass it, it'll give us an integer. And it says it returns the number of items in a sequence or a mapping. Don't worry about what sequences or mappings are, but be aware that this is what help does. So that's a relatively simple entry for help. Let's do help on an object we've made. Let's do it on the men and tub list we have here. And we get an awful lot of output. But if we scroll up to the top, we can see that this is just a piece of help on list objects. And I said to you repeatedly throughout the list videos that lists get complicated. You can see the number of methods here that they have is pretty robust. Uh, you might recognize, oh, I don't know, where's our, our uh, append method? There we go. We use that one. So there's a variety of things you can do with lists and they have other attributes as well and what the help function does is give us a brief peek at those things so that is an incredibly brief and rather incomplete look at the built-in functions in the Python interpreter turns out there's a set number of them and you can see them if you visit uh, this URL here and this is for the Python 2 help page and it'll give you the full list of built-in Python functions there it is so that's a brief look. This is Ed from my Bring Back. Thanks for spending time with us watching these videos. I hope you are learning and enjoying them. Please follow us and share us with other people. We're going to keep filling you in until you're ready to abandon us and do things on your own.